need you to pull up Stream Deck. Um, so I need you to go to the app library. And your app library will look like this. I want you to search for our counter. And I need you to download this one right here. And once you download it and install it, you can close this out. We want to search for counter. And then your stream counter should show up. You're going to drag it over. And um, so now we're going to uh, start it up. Your initial value is whatever you would like. Um, if you ever want to restart it, you want to hold it th for three seconds and it'll restart it. Um, your file name. So now um, we're going to make a new folder. And I want you to make that new folder and have like a kill counter, dev counter, a regular counter, whichever one you want to name it. But just have a, a empty text file. So you want to right click new and then add text document and just name it. That's all you need to do. All right. So once you have that, you want to close that out. And you want to come here and go to file name. Once you go to file name. You want to select the file that you want to use. So this one we're going to use as our kill counter. So we're going to have a, a document that says kill counter. And yes, you want to replace it. And when we press the button one time on our stream deck, it'll add. If you hold it for like a second, it'll subtract that one. Um, so if I press it on here, if you press this button on your stream deck, it'll add one and add two, and then add three. This is what we want. Um, if you long press it, it'll, it'll do minus one, minus one, minus one. It should go back to zero, minus one, all right? So if we keep pressing it, let's just say we get about eight kills, and then we want to start a new game. Um, you hold it down for three seconds, and then it'll restart back to zero, all right? Um, so if you want to change the wording on here, all you have to do is just type it in here. Um, so you can do uh, kill and then do uh, forward slash n to make sure that your, um, sorry, hold on. Make sure that your, um, oh, backslash, sorry, backslash. So you can do backslash n. And then your your number will be at the bottom and then your kill will be at the top. If you want to edit your button, um, that is up to you. Um, you can always just go here and just have an icon and add your certain icon that you want. So you don't have to worry about that. But that's just options. Um, and you can add a sound to it. So every time you press the button, your 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 viewers may hear a sound. You can do it when you press the button. And then um also when a long press when you're subtracting. Um I would just do a um, add sound and just say when you have a kill, you can just add that sound into, into there. And that's really much it that you have to do on your stream deck. So now we're going to go back to our, um, we're going to go back to here. Um, and after you have added that kill counter to your, uh, so I'll show you that process. So you want to come here and do add text we want to do add text and we want to do counter all right so now we are reading from that file and then we're going to go to that same file that you use for your kill counter that same one that you made that button for and press open and a number should pop up and then press ok you can format it the best way that you want to do it um, you don't have to worry about that. Um, next thing you'll want to do is, um, uh, rename. Oh, sorry. Transform. And you want to do, um, fit to screen. So it's be in the center of your, of your, uh, display and then size it the way that you want to do it. I recommend doing it this way. It's a little bit easier. Um, and then all you have to do is just press your stream deck button. And then it will increase that number every single time. And you hold it 
it will restart for you back to zero because it's looking at that same file and that's all you need to do get decorated and do whatever you need to do but i feel like this is the most easiest way possible for you um so you can get that started all right and if you got any questions let me know